Hi all, my name is Mas Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today it's all about building a new show controller for large Tesla coil shows. Now for a good part of a decade I have done with this simple little interrupter built from a schematic by Steve Watts. Later on I upgraded to a one Tesla MIDI interrupter. Um, very simple uh, little controller that can just play some MIDI files. And then I bought a two-channel MIDI controller from, I think it's uh, LoneOceans.com. Uh, works very good, also has a normal interrupter built into it. But I need something bigger. In other news, I also built this very cool plastic bead Tesla coil along with my daughter. If you have been reading on HighVoltageForward.com and in the microcontroller section, there is a nice thread called a easy to build polyphonic MIDI interrupter. Now, if you have followed that thread, you will see that it's a touchscreen built around a Tiva microcontroller development board, and it can control up to six Tesla coils at a time. So I got a little package from DigiKey with um, all the nice parts for that. Touchscreen, evaluation board, a lot of um, optical in and outputs. So that's uh, one part of the project. And then we also need some kind of enclosure for it. So I got another package. And that's this little baby. So here at first I will just get the things unpackaged and we will take a closer look at them. And a little message to Dave from EEV Block. That's not a pocket knife you have. This is a pocket knife. Let's see if we have everything falling out here. Now I did order some uh, extra parts for building um, some flight, more flight cases from the leftovers from building the large flight cases for my uh, large Tesla coil. Uh, there will be a future video about that, so stay tuned for that one. Um, let's see what. Oh, lots of cool stuff. So here is a uh, distribution panel. 7 times IEC sockets, 230 volt. So let's see what that's for. Because that's going into this box. Okay, we also have some panels. So I have another box here. Yeah. Oops, stuff is tipping over. I really need a bigger place. For those of you watching this in full screen, high definition, you could probably read that this says pop-up mixer rack case. So this is a full 19 inch rack, 12 unit case. And it is a little bigger than I first imagined. So yeah, that usually happens, um, especially with building my large Tesla coil. I was kind of surprised if you build something that is three meters tall, that it is actually three meters tall. So let's see what we can pop out here. Okay, I wasn't kidding when I said I needed a bigger place. For this being a tabletop uh, pop-up rack case, that do take up a lot of space. So let us just try to pop this baby open again. So the lid comes off just like that. And the whole idea of a pop-up 19-inch rack is that you simply have this click system. And then I'm just going to mount all my panels, all kinds of controls, monitoring and such. Also along with that uh, power rail that I got, or the uh, distribution panel, sit up top. So I have everything I need in one suitcase. So let's check out a little uh, drawing that I did before buying this stuff and how I imagined this would turn out. This was my first layout of the show controller. As you can see, it was pretty intimistic and this is where I got the idea of buying this pop-up rack case. 
Now uh, let's just jump straight on to revision 2 of that, because here you can see there is a whole lot more going on. I have the uh, IEC plug power bar at the top. Underneath it I would like some kind of uh, power supply or battery switch, so I can run this off the grid and just feed some coils with the fiber optics output as the only power consuming part of this case. There should also be some kind of uh, safety part of this with emergency stop local and some kind of external connected. But I also want to incorporate my key switches that I use for my slow power on uh, box for, that I already have today. And then uh, the last two parts at the bottom is first the old normal analog interrupters and the new MIDI synthrupter sitting at the right side. And I would like some kind of uh, combination of switches and dials and such so I can switch on and off the outputs. I can switch between the two different kinds of interrupters. I can run with either normal interrupter or the central interrupter at the same time. Uh, or at least switch around between the different sets of coils. And also uh, some kind of a master uh, controller for a master interrupter that I control all six outputs at the same time. And I have also added some um, status LEDs for the output and I would also like to be able to switch over to a buzzer in order to just simulate sound when yeah, experimenting with MIDI files without having any coils connected. So that's about the plan. Let's take a look at the parts. Before unboxing the really interesting stuff over with touchscreen and microcontroller, let's just take a quick look at the parts for the controller box itself. Now I bought two three unit panels, two two unit panels and two ventilation panels, but that's kind of a uh, no brainer because why would I need a ventilation panel on something that tips up? Yeah, I don't know. But then the, the distribution panel here, that is quite nice. Actually, dirt cheap, really. Uh, a lot of this stuff do not really cost that much money if you can put it together yourself. And after all, if we do build huge Tesla coils, why can't we put together a few cases? Something like the handles, the locks, corners, some ball corners. All in all, you can build flight cases at a one third to one fourth of the price of buying a assembled one. Now that you know the plan, you also know that it will take a lot of parts. So let's take a look at the DigiKey goodie bag here. First, away with the banana for scale. And at first, my favorite optic fiber transmitter, the 645 nanometer red. It's called the IFE96E. And I ordered these from Digikey, as this is one of the few places in the world where you can still get this at a fair price. Along with that, we do of course also need some receivers. And here we have the uh, photovoltaic 5TTL detector. It's the EFD95. Now these have changed the uh, revisions over the course of the years. so. I think it was 91 I started out with on the transmitter and actually I think it was 90, no, not 96, I forgot. But they did change part number over the years. I did have a few of these in stock already, so that's why I ordered an uneven number, just to make up to have one of each. So here we have the evaluation kit. So let's get that out of the bag. The Tiva C-Series connected launch pad. TM4C 1294 Texas Instruments. So this is a cheap way of getting a highly integrated microcontroller with all kinds of peripherals and interfaces and a lot of customizable IOs. So that actually only connects with a uh, yeah something like five six wires to the display, and that's about it. Then also six outputs for the fiber optics. It is really a easy to build circuit. 
and comes with a small network cable and USB cable. It was originally designed by Max on highvoltageforum.net with a 5 inch next gen screen, but I could only get a 7 inch. Uh, the other one was simply not in stock. So, yeah, I had to pay a bit more to get a nice big screen, but I actually think I will, I'm going to enjoy this because that's a nice big touch screen. Actually, makes for some good space to adjust some of the smaller values or sliders and such. Actually a pretty sturdy package. It's not like the screen is flipping around. So that's uh, going to be easy to install. Now that just comes with a yeah, few test wires. And what is that? Some kind of phantom USB power connector. It just seems to be, I guess perhaps it's for this one. Well, we will see in the manual. This next big show controller ain't exactly a project that is done tomorrow. So I will split that up into some phases where we will do the Synthoraptor first. As you can see in the thread, I will link down below here to the build thread on highvoltageforum.net. And then I will expand it with a normal analog interrupter, maybe for six channels. And then expand it out with the other capabilities shown in the concept drawing. So until next time, or just before you go, I would like you to consider supporting my channel and help me build more projects like this. So check out the join button at the bottom or check out some of the merchandise. It would really make me happy if you could find some of it useful. So until next time, see ya.